Welcome to Crypto Journal. Hit like on this video if you want more content about real institutional partnerships without promotions or interruptions. And leave me in the comments what blockchain connections you want me to explore next. I read every single comment. There's a partnership in the blockchain space that most retail investors have never heard about, yet it represents one of the most strategic alignments between enterprise-grade infrastructure and real banking services. Today, we're exploring the connection between XTC Network and Globians, and why this relationship reveals something crucial about the future of digital banking and ISO 20022 compliance. This isn't another partnership announcement. This is about understanding how institutional grade blockchain infrastructure connects with actual banking services and why that matters as we approach the November 22nd, 2025 ISO 20,022 deadline that will fundamentally reshape global payments. Let's start with what most people don't know. In August 2022, Globians, through its CEO Oliver Marco La Rosa, facilitated XDC Network's entry into the Metaverser platform by purchasing prime virtual real estate specifically for XDC. But this wasn't just a Metaverse publicity stunt. It was the public manifestation of a much deeper strategic relationship that had been developing behind the scenes. Oliver Marco La Rosa stated publicly, I am proud of the work done by the XDC Foundation, especially the efforts of Atul Kakade and Ritesh Kakkad, our longtime friends and business partners. The key phrase there is longtime friends and business partners. This wasn't a new relationship announced in 2022. This was an existing partnership being made more visible. So what is Globians and why does this connection matter? Globians describes itself as the fusion of a bank with crypto exchanges on a single platform. This isn't a traditional exchange. It's a hybrid financial institution offering banking services, cryptocurrency trading, staking, and real use debit cards for instant crypto to fiat access. Their native token, GBX, powers the entire ecosystem through rewards, staking, and fee payments. But here's what makes Globian significant in the XDC story. Globians is building the bridge between traditional banking infrastructure and blockchain networks. And they've specifically chosen XDC as their blockchain partner for a very specific reason. ISO 20,022 compatibility and enterprise grade infrastructure. XDC network is a hybrid blockchain designed to power enterprise use cases while remaining flexible enough to meet growing industry demands. It processes over 2,000 transactions per second with sub two second finality and transaction fees below one tenth of a cent. But technical specs aren't why Globians chose XDC. They chose XDC because it was designed from the ground up for trade finance and cross border payments. The same use cases that require ISO 20,022 compliance. The same use cases that traditional banks are desperately trying to digitize as we approach the November 2025 deadline. Here's where it gets interesting. Globians launched GBX staking on their platform, but they didn't stop there. They also integrated XTC network staking mechanism directly into their banking platform. This means Globians customers can stake XTC tokens while using Globians banking services. This isn't just listing a token on an exchange. This is deep integration of blockchain infrastructure into banking operations. Globians Pay, their payment solutions platform, enables businesses to accept crypto payments with instant settlement. And the infrastructure powering this? XDC Network's blockchain rails. When a business uses Globian Spay to accept crypto payments and settle in fiat, that transaction potentially flows through XDC infrastructure with near instant finality and near zero fees. Now, let's connect this to ISO 20,022. On November 22nd, 2025, SWIFT will permanently retire legacy MT messaging formats for cross-border payments. Over 11,500 financial institutions across 200 plus countries must comply. Banks that aren't ISO 20,022 compliant by that date will face penalty fees, processing delays, and potential disconnection from the global financial system. As of May 2025, SWIFT reports that 72% of institutions are technically compliant. But technically compliant doesn't mean operationally ready. 
Many banks have implemented translation layers that convert old MT messages to new MX messages, but this approach loses data, adds latency, and defeats the purpose of ISO 20022's rich data structure. What banks actually need is infrastructure that speaks ISO 20022 natively. And that's exactly what XDC provides. XDCS consensus layer and token services can clarify events and metadata that follow ISO 20022 schema in an immutable, auditable ledger. This means when banks tokenize their currencies under the Genius Act and tokenize securities under the Clarity Act, they can use XDC infrastructure without breaking their ISO 20022 compliance. Globians positioned itself as the intermediary between traditional banks and this infrastructure. Think about it. A bank that wants to offer crypto services to customers faces massive regulatory, compliance, and technical challenges. They need banking licenses, crypto exchange licenses, custody solutions, compliance frameworks, and blockchain infrastructure that meets financial industry standards. Globian solves this by offering the complete package. They have the banking infrastructure. They have the exchange infrastructure. They have the compliance frameworks. And they have XDC network as their blockchain backbone. A bank can partner with Globiance and instantly access crypto banking services without building everything from scratch. But here's what makes this particularly powerful. Globiance operates in multiple jurisdictions. They have frameworks for the European Union, Switzerland, South Africa, Turkey, Australia, and the United States. This means they've done the regulatory groundwork in multiple markets. And XDCS hybrid blockchain architecture, combining public and private blockchain capabilities, fits perfectly into this multi-jurisdictional compliance framework. XDCS hybrid nature is crucial here. The public layer provides transparency and auditability. The private layer enables confidential enterprise transactions that meet banking privacy requirements. Traditional banks can't operate on fully public blockchains where every transaction is visible. They need privacy. XTC provides that while maintaining the benefits of blockchain technology. Now let's talk about trade finance, because this is where the XTC and Globian's connection becomes transformational. There's a $5 trillion global trade finance gap. Small and medium enterprises can access trade finance because the traditional letter of credit process is paper-based, slow, and expensive. Banks charge high fees, transactions take weeks, and the whole system is inefficient. XDC was specifically designed to digitize trade finance. On October 22nd, 2025, XDC Ventures acquired Contour Network, a trade finance platform originally backed by HSBC, City, and Standard Chartered. Contour shut down in 2023 because it couldn't scale on its original infrastructure. XDC is reviving it with stablecoin integration and blockchain rails. Globians fits into this by providing the banking interface. When an SME needs trade finance, they can access it through Globian's banking platform, which connects to XDCS trade finance infrastructure. The letter of credit gets digitized, moves on blockchain rails, settles instantly with stable coins, and the whole process that used to take weeks now takes seconds. This is the vision. Traditional banks partner with Globian's for crypto banking services. Globian's provides the interface and compliance framework. XTC provides the blockchain infrastructure and ISO 20022 compatibility. And suddenly you have a complete ecosystem connecting traditional finance with blockchain technology in a way that's actually usable by institutions. Let me show you why this matters right now. The Genius Act passed in July 2025, setting federal rules for stablecoins with full reserve backing, monthly reports, and custody safeguards. This was the regulatory green light institutions were waiting for. The Clarity Act is advancing as the market structure framework for crypto assets. Together, these create the regulatory environment where banks can legally offer crypto services. But they need infrastructure. They need banking platforms. They need blockchain networks that meet compliance requirements. The XDC and Globian's partnership provides exactly this stack. Here's the timeline. November 2025, ISO 20022 becomes mandatory. January 2026, banks face penalties for noncompliance. 
Throughout 2026, tokenized assets move from pilots to production as genius and clarity provide regulatory clarity. In 2027 to 2028, we see explosive growth as CBDCS launch, tokenized security scale, and traditional finance fully integrates blockchain rails. Throughout this transition, banks need partners who understand both traditional finance and blockchain technology. They need platforms that can bridge both worlds. And they need infrastructure that's fast, cheap, secure, and compliant. The XTC and Globiance partnership addresses all of these needs. Globians understands banking because they are a bank. They understand crypto because they operate exchanges. They understand compliance because they operate in multiple regulated jurisdictions. And XTC understands enterprise blockchain because they were designed specifically for trade finance and institutional use cases. But here's what most people miss. This isn't about XTC price or GBX price. This is about infrastructure positioning. When the trillion dollar tokenized asset market scales, when banks offer crypto services to millions of customers, when trade finance digitizes, the infrastructure that powers all of this needs to already be in place. That infrastructure is being built right now. And the XTC and Globians partnership is one piece of that larger puzzle. XTC provides the blockchain rails. Globians provides the banking interface. Together, they create a bridge between traditional finance and blockchain technology that's actually functional for institutional use. Consider what this enables. A business in Mexico needs to pay a supplier in Germany. Instead of waiting three to five days for a swift transfer and paying high fees, these Globians platform, which settles the payment through XDC network in seconds with fees below a cent. The payment is ISO 20022 compliant, includes all required remittance data, and both parties have instant confirmation. Or consider this, an SME needs trade finance to import goods. Instead of spending weeks getting a letter of credit from a traditional bank and paying three to 5% fees, they use Globian's trade finance product powered by XDC. The letter of credit is digitized, the transaction is secured by smart contracts, and settlement happens instantly with stable coins when goods are delivered. These aren't theoretical scenarios. This is the infrastructure being built right now. The November 2025 deadline is forcing banks to upgrade their systems. The Genius and Clarity Acts are providing regulatory clarity. And platforms like Globiance with networks like XTC are providing the actual technology that makes this transition possible. Now let's talk about what this means for institutions watching this space. When BlackRock tokenizes treasury funds, when HSBC digitizes trade finance, when standard banks need blockchain infrastructure for cross-border payments, they have limited options. They need networks that are fast, cheap, secure, and compliant. They need networks that speak ISO 20022. And they need platforms that can bridge traditional banking with blockchain technology. XTC and Globians together provide this complete stack. It's not the only solution in the market, but it's one of the few that addresses the full scope of what institutions actually need. And it's one of the few that's already operational, not just in development. The Globian CEO calling XTC Foundation members, longtime friends and business partners reveals that this relationship has depth. These aren't companies that just met at a conference and announced a partnership. This is a strategic alignment that's been developing over years with both parties understanding that their strengths are complementary. XTC brings enterprise-grade blockchain infrastructure designed specifically for finance. Globian brings banking licenses, exchange operations, compliance frameworks, and a user interface that traditional banks can actually use. Together, they're building the bridge between traditional finance and blockchain technology that the industry desperately needs as ISO 20022 implementation approaches. Here's what we're not saying. We're not promising that XDC will 100X or that GBX is guaranteed to moon. We're not saying there's no risk. We're not saying this is financial advice. Markets can stay irrational. Technology can fail. Competitors can emerge. Regulations can change. What we are saying is this, follow the infrastructure. Follow the partnerships that address real institutional needs. 
Follow the technology that's designed for ISO 20000 and 22 compliance. Follow the platforms that bridge traditional banking with blockchain and understand that the companies positioning themselves at these intersections are building infrastructure for the next decade of finance. The XTC and Globian's connection represents exactly this type of strategic positioning. While retail traders chase meme coins and price predictions, these companies are building the boring infrastructure that will power the tokenized economy. They're creating the rails that will move trillions of dollars. They're building the bridges that will connect traditional finance with blockchain technology. And they're doing it quietly, without hype, without marketing campaigns targeting retail investors. Because their customers aren't retail traders. Their customers are banks, institutions, enterprises, and governments that need working infrastructure, not speculative investments. This is how real adoption happens. Not through viral marketing campaigns, but through strategic partnerships addressing actual institutional needs. Not through price pumps, but through technology integration that solves real problems. Not through hype, but through infrastructure that just works. The November 22nd, 2025 deadline is coming. Banks that aren't ready will face penalties, delays, and competitive disadvantages. The institutions that successfully navigate this transition will be the ones using infrastructure that's already operational and compliant. XTC and Globians are positioning themselves to be that infrastructure. Whether they succeed depends on execution, adoption, and competition. But the strategic logic is clear. Combine enterprise blockchain infrastructure with actual banking platforms, ensure NESO 20022 compliance, operate in multiple regulated jurisdictions, and provide the complete stack that institutions need. That's the untold connection between XTC and Globians. Not a metaverse publicity stunt, not a simple token listing, but a strategic partnership building the infrastructure for institutional blockchain adoption in an ISO 20022 compliant world. Now you understand what most of the market doesn't. You understand why this partnership matters beyond price speculation. You understand how blockchain infrastructure connects with banking platforms. And you understand why ISO 20022 compliance is the forcing function that's driving institutional adoption of networks like XDC through platforms like Globians. Drop a comment below with your analysis. Not price predictions, but your thesis on how banking platforms and blockchain infrastructure will converge as ISO 20022 becomes mandatory. I read every comment. See you in the next video.